Well, we have all sorts of people on Storage TV. Joining me now from Chile is Claudio. Claudio, why National Mini Storage for you? Very uh, safe, clean, dry, and um, very handy to the motorways here at Cook Street. Okay, and obviously your equipment, you, you, you store your work stuff here, don't you? Or your, your, your waterproofing? Yes, we're waterproofers, membrane roofers, and we um, store all our materials and equipment. I might just interrupt you there, Claudio and, and, and Dora. Um, if you want to get in touch with Storage TV and learn more about National Mini Storage, get in touch. Email address down there, website, find out more. Back to you, Claudio. Um, what else do you store in here other than your, your work equipment? Well, as our kids are getting older and we had another kid, we just store baby gear till uh, the next one's ready, nice and dry and nice and clean. Um, okay, that's pretty much wraps it up, Claudio. Thanks for your time. I appreciate Thank you, that. Lee. Thank you. Uh, yeah, don't let immigration know, please. Yeah. And uh, is that a secure, it's safe. Immigration. She's a beautiful man, man. Beautiful member. Very damn good. Yep, it does us. You're storing it here at, um, at National Mini Storage, where they've got boats and all sorts of stuff here. Um, how does that help you out? Um, it really helps us a lot because we just haven't got the room at home. Yeah, simple as that. Um, and here it's, it's obviously safe, it's secure, and you, you can just come and get it when you want? Yes, it does us. We can come any weekend and pick it up and off we go for a little ticky tour around the countryside. Can't help but notice the old the old hobs over there, the cooker there. They're not easy to cook in while you're driving, are they? No, they're not. They're not at all. Well, I've actually done that myself um, a few Have years back. Have we got some footage of that? <laughs> That's not good to me. You can see as you're coming around the corners there, obviously, you know, um, that, that's the, the hard part what there. What about when you break? Yeah, braking's not good either. Um, yes, that's mm. nasty, mate. Turned out alright, though. Okay, well, tell me about this place here. How did, how did you hear about them? You know, what, what, what do you see as, as the major benefits you're getting? And just hold this if you could. Okay, um, obviously it's the um, proximity to home, it's very close, only a few minutes drive away. It's secure, very secure, and um, it's usually a quiet place. Um, I can't help when I'm on a camper, I feel like I'm on tour, I like to remember my old touring days with the band, you know, get the, the gear out and, you know, it takes yeah, you, it takes you back. As you say, you were saying something about proximity and the, and the, the, the easy access. Definitely, definitely. Um, I can virtually come in any, any old time um, and it's, it's pl there's plenty of room around and when I back back, it's a, it's a, it's a big beast, so sort of to manoeuvre mm -hmm. in that, there's plenty mm -hmm. of room. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they're just a great crowd to, okay. to deal with. There you go here at Penrose. Obviously, um, you can store all sorts of stuff here, but what we've noticed, a lot of boats, campers, vehicles, that kind of thing, perfect right here at Penrose. Mm -hmm. I'll finish off with some driving music um, to take us out of here. Mm -hmm.